This is your stainless power bar or stainless hybrid bar. So this is a new bar. Hello friends, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews. We're here in beautiful Halmstad, Sweden, visiting Aleko, and we actually have Aleko's, what's your official title, Oscar? I'm the product manager for the free weight category at okay. Aleko. Okay, so essentially corporate speak for barbell nerd, yeah. <laughs> just like me. True. And Oscar is a power lifter. His wife is a world-class power lifter. What were some of your numbers? What were some of your best numbers? My best is probably my squat, 270 kilos. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> and what is that in pounds, near 600? Yeah, it's right at 600, okay. 595. Yeah. He's like somewhere around here. He knows the exact numbers, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do a walkthrough of his gym, which is a two car, which in Sweden isn't very popular. It's actually separate from his house, so completely detached training center. He only has Aleko equipment here. Actually, I hope he has some other stuff, but let's go ahead and go into it. Okay, these, I'll just start this. The flooring, yep. this is the same flooring every gym we've been into in Sweden has the same flooring. Yes. Why, is it just easy to find or? Sorry, we don't get stall mats. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys, <laughs> do you really not have four yeah, stall we, mats? We, we do. Okay. These are from Aleko, so it's oh, probably why people okay. get them from there. Yeah, these are nice. They're 30 millimeter. Yeah. Uh, so, and it's concrete under, so this means you can lift anything anywhere. Oh, totally. Uh, I like it. Let's start with this, because this is, Probably where you do most of your training, on the combo rack. At least my wife does. Okay. So you need to train how you compete. Sure. So it's the combo rack that's used in competition. It's even the carpet that's used in competition oh. to practice that same feeling for your leg drive in the bench. This upholstery is new, not yet released. Oh, really? So it's uh, a lot softer than the current uh, polyurethane version. Really? So you're testing this and providing yeah. feedback pretty, pretty exactly. much? Exactly. Okay. Best part is probably these. Now I can't show you since it's set up for bench press, but you can use these levers to tilt the in and uprights out. in and out without having to, like you can do it with four or 500 kilos on, no issue. And combo racks aren't crazy popular in home gyms unless you're doing powerlifting because no. these are made for squatting and benching. But the benefit for these is you basically bring this here, you're able to adjust it while weights on the bar, if you'd like to make it easier. You take these extra pins, which by the way, are magnetic and knurled. <laughs> these things are sweet. Kind of looks like a barbell end cap. It's pretty cool. And then you place them in here and then you're good to go. Very fun to use. So yeah. inside of these, they stick wood blocks basically and then drill out the holes. That way you're not having to search around just quickly to go in, which is kind of funny because squat racks never do that. No. Do you know of a squat rack that does that? Has Aleka ever done that? I don't think so. Okay, no. that would be a really unique design, but basically, so you don't miss it up. I like the idea of practicing how you play. Yeah. Having the carpet, that's... Does it actually change how you grip and stuff, I guess? Yeah, because in competitions you use a lot of baby powder uh, and that ends up on the floor and okay. that makes it slippery. So uh, this rubber floor would get very slippery, but this fabric is very rough. So yeah. It allows most of the particles to fall through and sure. collect at the bottoms, not at the top. Okay. So you can maintain better traction. Are you using, I see you've got bumpers and calibrated plates. Are you yeah. training mostly with calibrated or are you using bumpers too? Mixture of both. Okay. Uh, I got these just for that competition feeling. Sure. Because it does feel different if you load up 250 with ru rubber bumpers. Oh yeah, the bar gets Compared whippy. to those, yeah. Okay. Uh, but also I don't want to wear those unnecessarily. So I got the rubber bumpers too. I know. For deadlifting. If I didn't know any better, I would think you've never used these. I hid the worn <laughs> ones at the back. Because <laughs> they're perfect, dude. And then the Prestera. Yes. Prestera cable. Yes. Man, you just barely fit this thing in here. Oh yeah, it was well calculated. <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't fit, what would you have done? Cut out the ceiling or move? Cried first <laughs> yeah. and then cut out the ceiling. So pull-ups, are you doing pull-ups here or is that just I the looks? I generally use the rings, the rings or okay. like those, uh, uh, I forget what they're called, those orange ones. Oh, Angles uh, 90. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you can't I, remember other people's oh, products. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just the one thing you forgot is another company's product. And I just ordered the, the ones from Kensui Fitness. Yeah, I love uh, those. those uh, Swissies. Swissies, yeah, exactly. Did you get the angled ones or the straight ones? The straight ones. I use them yeah. all the time. To get some more clearing there. I think I'll be able to do some pull-ups with those. Yeah. You have a small head, you can do that. <laughs> Short neck. Huge small. brain. <laughs> okay, so tell me about the Prestera. Were you very integral in building Prestera, being a part of that process, or are you more so 
on the barbells and plates side. I was part of the trying out the dimensions, the okay. geometry to get it to fit all kinds of lifters. Sure. What's the optimal width and dimensions so it doesn't interfere with your hands in a wide bench press placement yep. and you don't bang the plates when re-racking. Sure. Finding all those compromises for as many people as possible. So what is the width on the uprights outside to outside? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> So these are centimeters. This doesn't even have inches on it. Ours at least has imperial and metric. They're just Sorry. like, no, imperial. What I do know is the outer measure here is the same as the combo rack. Okay, so uh, 121 yeah. or so, Yeah. 47.6. So just a little bit, little bit wider than 47. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I yeah. love the stainless steel uprights. Do you use the cable system often in your training? Or? Yes, okay. a lot. Now that you're doing bodybuilding yeah. stuff. It's the main reason I got it, to complement everything that you can't do with a barbell okay. or dumbbells. What about the cable system do you think Aleko does really well? So the smoothness of this is yeah, just... Yeah, it is. Even at the one thing that's really unique yeah. about this, the smoothness at lighter weights for most machines, it will say a stated weight, but it doesn't feel that on the end. Mm. It's usually like either too rough, so it feels heavier or it's too light where there's like nothing there. Yeah. Like what, even if you're at, I mean, he was just at 14, but even if you're at the seven pound mark, it feels like, I mean, it's so smooth. Yeah. yeah. Very consistent. Yeah. I also love this. This is something they probably borrowed in some fashion from like really expensive functional trainers. Life Fitness, for instance, has this on their G series. Uh, this is a counterweight 1.5 kilograms that you can bring on top. Um, so you can get the in-betweens. Most of them, you, you don't have that like minutia. You can't get that tight in terms of adding increments. I love that feature. Then of course, the same roller J-cups as on the Combo Rex. Sweet. Uh, helps with consistency. Yeah, I love this pegboard too. That pegboard's yeah. cool. Fully stainless uprights. Yeah. I actually noticed, I was thinking about this, I always attach my phone because I have a magnet yeah. on the back. Doesn't work. It doesn't work because no. it's actually stainless. And it's actually good stainless. Some stainless, it's such low quality, magnets will actually still stick. Yeah. Uh, one way that you can tell like a really high quality stainless, because it doesn't have a lot of carbon in it, is magnets won't stick. And then on the outside, you got even more plates. Yes. These are Volcano? Or... These are called grit plates. They replaced okay. the old Volcano. Okay. The same principle with handles. Yeah. And I use them just here for, you know, you need to load, load up the curl bar quickly. Handles <laughs> helps with that. Sure. I don't want to bring out the 50 kilo ones for, yeah. for that. I also noticed the flags. Yes. So these are Finnish flags. That's the Finnish flag. Okay, this shows me. <laughs> I'm, we can edit Stars and bars, baby. What else do you need? <laughs> Classic American. <laughs> okay, so, Finnish flag. What's this one? This Swedish, Swedish? flag. Okay. Is your wife Swedish? Yes. Okay. Is. How come that one's bigger than this one? <laughs> it's the one I ordered. <laughs> Assault bike. Yes. The only cardio piece I see in here. Yes. Classic power Apart lifter. from my feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How often are you guys using this? Is this? Every, weekly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to get some conditioning in. And dumbbells. You've yeah. got a combo here. Yeah. This is an assortment of various early prototypes. These are older style? Yeah. So these are all early prototypes of when we made the plate dumbbell. You can tell that the one doesn't even have end caps. Yeah. This one is written by hand. Okay. This is an early Evo before it got that uh, covered oh, plate okay. here. Yeah. Uh, same with this. Uh, this is also a prototype of the new plate dumbbell. These are old used volcano dumbbells that <laughs> predecessor. So I just mixed and matched together. Totally. To get, to get a set. You went. You did a big jump here. Yeah. <laughs> Forty to fifty-two and a half kilos. Yeah. Dang. Do you bench us? I do. I do. You can bench us, no problem? I do. It's not that impressive. Yeah. We make them to up to 100 kilos, so that would can be Can cool. you imagine that in 100 kilos? <laughs> How big is that? They're huge. Oh, I bet. Dude. The new version is not quite as big. Okay, uh, yeah. Because they have a bigger diameter. Sure. So, uh, but still, like, you can't handle Oh, yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bench. This is your only, outside of your combo rack, yes. this is your only bench in here. Yep. Is this the current model? It is. Of your adjustable bench? Yes. So this is almost the same upholstery as on the new bench pad also. And is the current upholstery on these benches, is it your pure pad? You can get whichever you like. Oh, okay, yeah. it's either one. Yeah. Okay. And I just like the feel of this. Uh, I don't need the extra durability of the polyurethane because yeah. there are two, max four people training here. Uh, I like the feel of this. Dimensions are the same as that one, width and height. Okay. And the feel is pretty much the same, so you can be consistent even when you're doing 
okay. like dumbbell presses and stuff. One thing about this bench, the gap pad, that's a big gap. It is. Especially for most modern adjustable benches. Yeah. Why do you guys, why is that still there? Because you don't think it necessarily matters because people mostly bench on this when they're flat or just I, part of the design. I seem to recall that it was decided it wasn't a, such a big deal. Okay. Uh, that when when uh, people were asked, they didn't really care or okay. felt that it made a difference. Sure. Now that sample may have been flawed, of course, but that's the feedback they got. Yeah. I noticed Aleiko is just classic on details. So many details from knurling pin. This is stainless, right? It is. Okay, fully stainless with laser cut. They actually have a knurled handle on the front, which is that the exact same handle as used on the Oppen deadlift bar? It might be the same. Yeah. And then bumpers. These yeah. are your newer bumpers. They have the, at least the newer logo. Yeah, so these are the, they're called sport training. Okay. So they're the non-calibrated variant. Okay. These are my favorites. The 50s. Yes. Yeah, dude. I never use them. Dang. <laughs> But they're cool. Are those newer? Yeah. Okay, because yes. like the original, I have an old Klokov set. Yeah. I don't know if you remember when he had a yeah, yeah. little barbell company and they brought out 50s because they were like, in the originals, Yeah. they use 50s. Yep. Those are, those are new and they're mainly sold to the WPPO powerlifting. Okay, Yeah. sure. I, don't, I literally don't see anything other than a Leica except that. And is this a Genesis we, jack? Oh yeah. Yeah, clever built yeah, Genesis yeah, jack. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's paint. Did you paint this or it come like this? No, it's really, really old. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice. You literally don't have anything. Let's go to your bar rack. Let's go to my bars. Because I'm sure you have something other than a lake over here. There's, there's something hidden in here. Okay. Like, we'll see if you can spot it in <laughs> okay, there. Okay. Not, not necessarily here, that's a disclaimer, <laughs> but somewhere in this gym, <laughs> okay. there is a hidden piece of Ooh. equipment. <laughs> Easter egg. <laughs> okay, so you have the most over the top curl bar ever. Most important. <laughs> On the top shelf. Has bearings, right? It has. This thing spins just yep. ridiculous for a curl It's bar. made from the same bar steel as the other bars. Is it? It's completely unnecessary, totally. but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. Dang. What knurling is used on this? That would be the 1.0. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it feels a little bit weird since they uh, bent it after. Sure. So. so they bend it after they knurl it. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then this one is a... This is a 15 kilo XF bar. Okay. Uh, mainly got it for my wife to do front squats. Okay. Because uh, it doesn't have centered neural. Sure. This is stainless. It is. Yeah, I can tell from the oh. coating. This is your stainless power bar, or stainless hybrid bar? So... This is a new bar. This is not new. This is stuff that never made it into production. Ah, Two okay. different grades of stainless. Mmm, um, okay. So these don't exist officially. Wow, these are <laughs> off the grid. Okay, what is gonna happen to the hybrid bar? Are you allowed to talk about that? Oh yeah, okay. uh, so it, it's being recalled because okay. of an um, increased risk uh, sure. of exhaustion failure. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean they will break, yeah. but there's the potential, which we saw too late, unfortunately. Sure. Will it be replaced by a stainless version or is that TBD? Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> Nothing we can talk about right now. <laughs> okay. So these are both hybrid bars? Th yeah. Both of these? They're hybrid in that sense that they have both bushings and bearings in the sleeves. Okay. Then but there are different types of stainless uh, in the shafts. Mm, so I just okay. slapped the old. Uh, yeah, this is a higher grade stainless, this is a lower grade. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can tell because. So that's the thing. <laughs> We've talked about this in videos before. Just because it says stainless, not all grades of stainless are the same. Yeah. So when companies get mad at me for saying that on camera, it's just true. Yeah. Just because it says stainless, that doesn't mean, like look, this one already has surface rust. It's because it's a lower grade stainless. If you look at this one, there's no surface rust. Guarantee you, this, has this been in the same gym the yeah. whole time? Yeah. 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 So <laughs> it's different. Yep. Dang, okay. And then this bottom one. That's, that's a, a power sleeve. bar. Okay. Yeah, power bar with the proprietary NCO coating. Oh, okay. And since I'm not using it for CrossFit type training, I'm sure. at no risk for exhaustion. Yeah, uh, totally. Failure, so, and this is the only bar. You don't sell this. No, that's okay. one of two bars ever made in this. Oh, in this okay. Surface coating. Dang. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I love all the customs. And then this is actually a different. Yeah. Because this is not a gritty powder no. coat. This is the first prototype when switching to black uh, oh, powder really? coat. And it doesn't have the dual handles, and it has the long sleeves. Yeah. So okay. this is uh, So this is like the original op and deadlift bar with black. Yes. But it's a smooth. Yeah, it's not a textured black. Nice, okay, that's pretty cool. 
So that one doesn't exist either. Check out the end cap too. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, it just has a random end cap. Yeah. It's not uh, even for prototype. that bar. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. That's a consistent theme in this place. <laughs> are these prototypes too? Or I, that's just a normal? These are normal belt. hex bars. These never made it into production. Okay. Uh, also an alternative to the hex dumbbells yeah. with a slightly different shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Yeah, those are actually really nice. Those are cool. And of course, the loadable dumbbells. Loadable dumbbells. Yeah. With the options you have for dumbbells, you've got a couple of kettlebells too. Yeah. How often do you use these? Uh, whenever the jumps between those are too big. Okay. Uh, so if I need 35 sure. instead of 30 or 40. What plates will you place on these? Either of those small on the sides, I have a few uh, black change plates there as oh, well. Oh, nice. So just, if you need to do some really heavy rows, you could load them up with powerlifting 10 kilos. Okay. Just fit like 80 kilos on them. Okay. I don't have that many, but you could. Sure. Let's go over here though, workbench, because you've got, <laughs> <laughs> I see a couple things. Yeah. <laughs> SBD friend. Of course. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is this dumbbell? This is also a very early Evo prototype of a fat grip fixed one. Look at this fat grip. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So this one is just regular steel. It's not stainless, <laughs> you can <Okay>. tell. Yeah. <laughs> here you can see the benefits of stainless. Uh, yeah, dang. Look how uh, thick that guy is. That's a 50 millimeter. Yep. Just play with the grip training. Oh yeah, dude, that's ridiculous. You guys don't sell this, do you? No. That thick. Okay. You used to be able to get them for custom uh, if you wanted. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. That's not a shelf article. This is, who's this from? I have no idea. I found it uh, like in the thrown away bin in really? the workshop. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the, the I like smoothness it. on yeah. that, yeah. So again, for a grip training. For rows playing, or something. Man. Playing around with stuff like that. Okay. It's nice. Dang. So what's the piece of equipment I'm missing? Yeah, you haven't checked every square. Let me see here. Hmm. This is, these are different bench pads. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was gonna mention this. Oh yeah. So this is a calibrated competition scale because when you compete on high level, you usually travel overseas to yeah. weigh in and you need to make weight. And you always go, I wonder how my regular scale at home compares to the competition scale. And it always is off by a little bit. Yeah. So we got the competition scale here so she can wow. weigh in at home. Dang. So. That is dedicated. <laughs> that is It makes crazy. it easy. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, those are versions. The, the first one here is the current polyurethane pad. Okay. This yep. is an early version of the traditional upholstery. Man, it is so much harder. Harder. Yeah, it further. is. Yeah. Yeah, especially than that over there. That's very soft. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Curl bar. Oh, he found it. This is a rogue curl bar. <laughs> <It's> Sir. <laughs> I tried to hide it in there. Sir, is this allowed in, in its place? Okay. <laughs> he placed it there. I, <laughs> The bends on this are very nice. I, I Do like you it. use this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you use this one or that one? I use that one more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love the honesty. <laughs> wow. You really did have this hidden. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This is a real road it, curl It's bar. really the, the angle of the bends. I like them. Oh, they're and very aggressive. Yeah. They're very, yeah. Uh, so it's different. So I do use both. Uh, sure. I use this more. Uh, yeah. Mainly because it's knurled in, in the bend as well. Totally. Yeah. yeah. This is a like fantastic it. bar. Rings. Are these Aleiko too? They are actually. Are they? <laughs> yeah. You can't okay. tell, but they are. Dang, you literally have everything Aleiko. And oh. then one more thing is these blocks. These yeah. are pulling blocks. Yeah. Those were originally custom made uh, for the World Powerlifting Championships that we hosted here in 2021. Really? So in the bench press, if you are really short, you're allowed to have uh, like blocks under your feet to, okay. to raise your feet. So these were custom made for that. And after I just uh, commandeered them to my home gym and repurposed them as pulling blocks, step up blocks Sweet. for ghetto belt squats, stuff oh, like totally. that. totally. Yeah. So are you doing belt squats on this? I usually just do the regular weight belt and okay. then the plates and ah, just stand on a couple of sure. these and hold something for stability. Yeah. I really want a belt squat, but I don't really have the space for it. Mm. And if I, I'm getting something, it would be some kind of GHD or, or something. Like I have to prioritize. Okay. Uh, I, I love the belt squat, but I, I just can't fit it in here. I prioritize the, the floor space. Do you think Aleiko will ever have an attachment for the Prestera that does use the cables for belt squats? I would think so, yeah. I think that'd be yeah. cool. One other thing, it gets really cold in Sweden, right? Yeah. Is this insulated? It is. What do you do for heating and cooling? I have these massive heaters here behind the dumbbells that do absolutely nothing. So I put on three <laughs> layers of clothes. Do these really not up. do anything? They do nothing. Wait, so are these electric or? Yeah. Okay. 
Dang. I've never, what is this? So have you, have you seen Rocky IV when <laughs> he's in Russia? <laughs> yeah. You know, plowing through the snow. Sure. With, yeah. That's you? That's me. Okay, all right. Hence the SBD beanie. Okay. You, know? you have them over there too. Yeah. And I, they just don't add anything? No. Really? It's cold Dang. as shit. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah. See, my gym is the same way. It's cold. I have a mini split now mm. that makes it warmer, but for probably 10 plus years, it was yep. just freezing. You just put layers on. At some point, I'm gonna get some, but uh, it has to be prioritized after other stuff. Okay, yeah. You want the equipment first. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Who cares if it's freezing cold? So cold, in fact, that you don't even want to touch the barbell. No. Do you ever bring the barbell in the house at night? No, but sometimes I dread touching it. Yeah, because it's, it's so, so cold. cold. That's the coldest like, part. Okay. Like five degrees Celsius, that's not, that's not fun. Yeah, I don't even know what that is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Put some graphics in there. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll with that. <laughs> okay, anything else that you feel like I overlooked here? I think that's it. You have got the parallels because yeah. I've been doing a lot of body weight stuff. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. Like pseudo planche, uh, push ups, stuff like that. Just f because so much of your training used to be barbell focused, yeah. is bar body weight more fun and just new to you? It's or? different. So you don't chase old numbers. Also, when you're beat up and hurt, it's it's not fun. You don't yeah. have to always chase that. So doing something differently is just nice change of pace. Okay. Yeah. Is there any pieces of equipment that we have available in the U.S. That you're like, man, I wish I wish this was easier to get, or you oh, yeah. respect from other companies or anything like that. Yeah, a transformer bar for sure. They're okay. hard to get here. I would love that one. Yeah, uh, play around with. I, I've just touched it once. Okay. Uh, Kabuki stuff is not super common here. So sure. I only got to touch it once. Yeah. Uh, it's super interesting. Oh, it's a great bar. Yeah. yeah, it is. When is the release for the Aleco Safety Squad bar? <laughs> <laughs> we have to take that off camera. Okay. 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 <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Okay. Coop from Garage and Reviews, Oscar, barbell nerd slash official title, go ahead. Product manager, I think. <laughs> That's not as exciting. No, it no. should be like barbell. Just do, do barbell nerd. Barbell right? nerd. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I explain it at least. For Laco, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. We greatly enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see more, subscribe. Also, we'll tag Oscar's Instagram. Do you have an Instagram? Don't bother Is tagging it, me. Okay, never we'll tag Aleco's. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.